Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing some more 1v1s. Got our first opponent here, Hefe. Uh, this guy is 1400, so quite quite a bit. I mean, not, you know, scarily above where I am in rank, but he's uh, he's got quite a bit on us. Okay, and if you guys watched my last 1v1 episode, I'm recording this quite literally right after that. I took like a 10 minute break because I was tilted, but... I'm recording this pretty much right after that, and if you watched the last game of the last episode, I think I missed like, so, I want to say more than like four open nets, which, you know, that, you might sound like that's an everyday Tuesday for you, but um, for me, as an SSL player, that was, that was very tilting, so I lost that game, obviously, because you can't really win in SSL if you're missing open nets, so yeah. Um, we're gonna be trying to not do that this video. Oh my, pinch. My pinch was kind of crazy. I'm not even gonna go for the ball here. I'm gonna steal his boost and then take the ball back because I don't want him to have boost. You know, and, and if I can get a situation where I can steal the boost and get the ball possession, I'm going to do that because not only does it stall time, especially when I'm up, right? It stall times while I'm... Oh... Eh, this is not good. I gotta make sure I don't get bumped. I need to grab some pads, too, because he's gonna have a play. Alright. Nice. Good read there. I still have 30 boost, too. I didn't even try to boost down to get that boost, because I knew that he was gonna be on it, and he has 100 boost, so... Alright, hold on. I gotta, I gotta focus. Fake! Nice. I'm gonna hover a little bit, just to watch. Um, I forget what I was saying entirely, but... Nice. Good save. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But we're getting right into it. Dude, this guy is relentless. Oh, yeah. If you can get a chance to, you know, get the ball and the boost, why wouldn't you? Especially because when you boost starve them, it, it means that you can take a shot on their net and they're basically going to have to, you know, decide between getting a good clear or trying to get a clear and boost at the same time. So... It just kind of makes them a lot less threatening, too, because if if they don't have any boost, right, when they have a ball, you know that they're not going to be able to, like, air dribble it or anything like that, right? It takes away a lot of options. And you know that if you keep on shooting it high over and over, they're not really going to be able to recover or air dribble it out or anything like that. Wow, that's a good that's a good air dribble flip reset. Not only does he get the flip reset, but he stays in front of the ball there, so it's, it's pretty much impossible for me to save unless I go on that fast. That was a really good play. I just gotta make sure I don't get kickoff gold here. Flick it high. Nice. Good play. Flicked it high, and I was able to uh, somehow just recover just barely fast enough. He actually rubber banded that on my screen, so he did end up hitting it probably on his screen, but uh, on mine, no sir. Nice, good shot. Just played that close. He thought I was going to try to go for his corner boost, but when I got that soft touch on the ball, I knew I was going to be able to stay on it without him being able to go. Now, if he bumps me or something there, I'm not going to have any sort of follow-up, so he could have done that, but I just don't think he recognized that at the time. Oh, that's a good play. He might be able to double that. Yeah, that's a really solid play right there. Getting the flip reset and being able to go over fast, that's really smart. Yeah, that's crazy. He stayed really, really close to the ball there on the flip reset, so well played. Can't even be too mad about that. Alright, hit it back. I'm just gonna take it across too, because I know I have space over here. Just get a flip early. Shoot it high? No, that's off the post. Man. Ugh. He probably still would have saved it if I had it on target, but because it's off the post, he literally doesn't have to do anything. All he has to do is sit there, and the ball bounces towards my goal, and I am obviously still in the air, so I can't even recover that. Fake. Nice. Good fake there. We're getting good kickoff possession here, and good plays as well. Because I fake going for his corner there, he flips on it, and I just get a free 50. Nice. Alright. He's gonna follow that, but I'll just turn on it immediately. Alright. Uh, I should've... I should've had that. No biggie. Just fake this. 
I'll just wait. Oh, wow. I did not get the boost there. It's not going to be good. He's going to go for a demo, but luckily he missed. So the same situation that just happened to me just happened to him. He might be able to save that, though. <sighs> oh, close, close. Good shot from us. Got enough power so he couldn't. It's good. Well, I just realized my microphone arm is crazy in the way. My bad. You guys could only see nine tenths of my beautiful face. I'm so sorry. Some of you guys are like, eh, we liked it. You know, the less face, the better. Fake. Ooh. Bump. Oh, no, he might be able to get that. I didn't have enough boost. Ah, man. Wait, did he? He missed. Oh. Oops, GG. All right, well, we'll get right into game number two, and I'll see you all then. All right, game number two, playing against Pluto. Someone I played against a lot recently. Whew, good, uh... I wonder... I mean, I guess by the time this video goes out, I'll, I'll already have released it if I was going to do it, but I might make a predictions video. Uh, right now, it's Tuesday before the major, and I think if I... After this video gets done, I'll only have one more video to, like, prep, but I might just make one of my videos tomorrow a predictions video, and then I won't have to play any more ranked until... That's a good 50. Ah, oh, man. For some reason, I thought he was going to go for a flippy set there. That was just a bad read on the play by me. Sorry. I, I was thinking about I was thinking about a prediction video instead of, I don't know, the air dribble that was coming at me. All right, I'm just going to hit that high. He's going to be able to get that boost, but it's better than allowing a shot on my net when I have 20. Because at least now I can do a little bit of shadowing and... and you know, make a save up high, and then rush this, and then get the demo, and then turn and grab a couple pads so that I don't need to get the mid boost, or the back boost, I mean. And then just watch this rush, and then I'm gonna moxie flick him. Oh my god, that went a little bit higher than a moxie flick. Just shoot it on, right? Oh wow, that's, that's a bad, that's a bad shot. a good play from him. He might have enough boost to score that as well. Yeah, he's got that. That's bad for me. That's really bad. I could have gotten a better shot there, or I could have just faked. You know, if I literally just didn't go for the ball there, he doesn't have a lot of momentum, so he can't really get a beat. Plus, if I if I fake jump there, uh, he's going to think that I'm going, and he's going to do the exact same pattern of uh, like taking a 50 or trying to, trying to double jump, basically, that he did. And I should be able to get a shot here. Nice. Good speed. Good speed and good awareness of knowing where the ball was going to go. And I knew that he couldn't beat me to it. I knew that he also probably wouldn't expect me to go because I've been playing a little bit passive this game. Uh, he's going to go for a rough. Low 50 again. Oh no, that's off. No, it's off my post. I'll fake that. Take the boost. Okay, I can take this for a play. See on. All right. Gonna fake this. Nice. Okay. 60 boost. I'll go now. Try to demo. Let's fake that. He's gonna have a good shot here. I gotta be careful. Nice. Watch where he's going. Save my boost here. You know, I don't really have any reason to try to hit it over him. No, that's a good save from him. I should be able to get back, though. Fake. Uh, he didn't He didn't buy it. He has no real reason to buy that fake there. You know, even if I do touch it, he's not going to be in too much danger. Oh, uh, he's all the way back. Okay, I should be able to score this. Dude. Oh, it's still in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Pluto. All right. Well, that was that was an open net. That's as open as it's really going to get at this rank. And, you know, I need to be scoring those. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, I need to be scoring those 100% of the time. All right. I should be able to fake this. All right. It's going to go back. I'll just pop it up. Go for an air dribble ball. All right. Well, he was able to... Oh, 
Oh, that's bad. I didn't have enough boost to actually turn around. Could have probably grabbed a couple pads, but I didn't. I can score this if he misses. It's a good touch. That's why I didn't commit to the shot, because I figured Pluto Pluto's a good enough player where I don't think he's going to miss that, so I'm not going to play for him to, you know? Although, that might be in? No! It's off the corner. Oh, man. That's so sad. Alright, he's going to beat me there, but that's fine. I still have 70 boost here, so I'm not in any sort of trouble unless he rushes that and I don't recognize it, but... You know, I recognized it, so. Thought I was gonna be able to shoot there. He seems to just be peppering me with shots, and you know, that's a good strategy, but if he takes like 18 years in between each shot, it's gonna be. Oh, that's a good flip reset. That's a really good play. That's a really good play. I was watching for the air dribble bump there. Um, a lot of people, obviously, are just gonna go for that instead, but that's a very, very good shot for Pluto. I can't recover in time. Could have just left that, I think. Uh, actually, no. I don't know. I, I don't know what I could have done there besides sitting on the ball and trying to take a 50. So maybe that was the right course of action instead of trying to hit it up to myself. I'll go for a demo here. I gotta get something fast, and that, that's... That's reckless. Alright, well, that's probably gonna be the game unless I get, like, three kickoff goals in a row. We'll do one kickoff just to see, but... If I don't get a kickoff goal, like, right away, I just lost the game. Yeah, alright. Well, GG's. Uh, we'll get running game number three, and I'll see you all then. Alright, getting into game number three. We're playing against the guy from last video, Illuminous. Looks like he lost one since I played against him last. This guy's grinding, man. I don't know how he plays more than, I don't know, three or four ga ones games in a row. Like, I'm doing it right now, but... Only because I gotta record. If I wasn't recording, I would do three... Actually, if I wasn't recording, I probably wouldn't play ones at all, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, this game mode just does not tickle my fancy, you know what I mean? Um, yep, that was that was just bad. I could have just taken that down. I could have done so many other things with the ball, but... Right, I'm going to lock in. Can focus. <sighs> Deep breath. Out. We're good. No more mistakes this game. Starting here. It's over. If I don't jump there, it's just a free goal, but... Unfortunately, I jumped and then I had to recover because of it. And that's a goal. No, he missed. Never mind, he's in. Nah, hold on. Oh, unlucky. Just a bad 50 for me to take there. I should probably just fake there or just drive into the 50 rather than... Uh, rather than jumping into it and trying to, you know, win it. Especially at that angle. Gonna fake this. Hit the um. All right. Looks like he's adopting the low 50 strategy, which is a very, very annoying strategy to beat, but it's definitely possible. All right. Well, that's a good rush there. I mean, when when you become too predictable like that, it, it's just it makes for free goals. Uh, I mean, he was literally just driving straight up the ball or straight up the wall with the ball and. Yeah, maybe in the past I would have, you know, left him alone and, and went back for my corner boost and cowered, but I had, like, full boost there. So I'm thinking, all right, well, why would I do that, you know? All right, he's going to take this down. Just got to watch for the air dribble bump. Ah, uh, that's a smart play. He sees me waiting down for the air dribble bump, so instead of going for it, he just keeps the ball high. Smart, smart. I should have predicted that. If I jump there and I save my flip, it, you know, that becomes a lot easier of a ball to save. But... What a save. And he pinched it out, too. He's going to get that boost. I'm just going to rush this. Okay. Take this. I'll fake that. Oh, I'm low boost here. Nice. Again, just the low 50s. I got to watch out for that. He's going to play... I, I have a feeling he's going to play smart from now on, so i got to kind of get a little bit reckless, you know? Reckless, but in a good way, not in a bad way. So I just got to do things that he's not going to expect. He's backing off, so I can take this. Smart. 
Alright. Can we go for an air dribble bump here? Nice. Got a lot of time there to just collect the ball and just, just do absolutely anything with it, but miss the open net. I don't know why I said that like that. I don't know. I just have to score, you know? That's all I have to do. Just gonna fake that. Take a 50 here. Should be able to just shoot that and score. Nice. As soon as you went for that mid boost and you see how the ball is bouncing off of the wall there, it's just kind of... It's just free. I mean, he isn't going to be able to get back in time as long as you put a well-placed shot on net. Just because of how far away he is from the ball and, and how far away the boost that he just grabbed is from the from where I can shoot. Is that in? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. See, that's, that's, a, that's a scenario like the other game where he hits it off the backboard and because I'm literally just waiting down there, you know, if he shoots it on target there, I can't really save it. So I'm not even going to jump, right? Uh, at least until I see the shot. You know, if the shot's bad, then obviously I'll be able to save it, but if it's a good shot, I'm not going to be able to save it. So as soon as I see it going high, I'm in my brain, I'm already thinking like, okay, is that on? Is it off? And the millisecond I realize whether it's on or off, I make the decision to either jump or not jump for the ball. And that was one of those scenarios where I knew it was off. I knew even if it was on, I couldn't get to it. So there's no point in jumping. And I just get a free, free net because it goes off the backboard. All right, let's focus up though. Two minutes left. Definitely still time. Got to make sure that he doesn't come back here. I think he's using the Christmas decal, which I haven't seen in a while. I think I used that. Yeah, okay. Now I'm just staring at his car. That's bad. Okay, I got to watch the demo. Whoa. Okay, that's going to be a goal probably. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that all works sometimes. Like... I feel like I'm not going to get demoed, and then I'm on top of their car, and then somehow I'm still just demoed. There was there was something yesterday where somebody... I was on top of their car, and they demoed me somehow. Or wait, no, they were on top of they were on top of me. And and I got demoed. Uh, that, was, that was a tilter. I think I abandoned the match after that. That was in twos, though. So, sorry to my twos teammate. Uh, that, was, that was a real tilter. I can't lie. To be fair, we were down by like three goals or something, so it's not like we were about to win and... Oh, that should be in though. That's not in? Are you kidding me? So how, how am I demoed there? You know what I mean? Like, where's the fairness, Rocket League? Oh my god, dude. He's just going for demos. It's probably gonna be a goal as well. Yeah, wow. I thought I 50 that, like, at least far enough away that... Nope, guess not. Alright, well now I know. Now I know that his primary MO is, is demos. Did that all just rhyme? Now I know primary MO, demo. Yeah, I guess demo and MO are kind of the same sound, so makes sense. All right. Dude, wait, why am I thinking about rhyming? Like, I... That's not even going to be on. I got to recover here. Yeah, luckily he can't even catch up to that, so I'm not worried about it. Just got to make sure I don't get demoed. MO. MO stands for modus operandi, in case you guys don't know. That's like a criminal's, like... I'm pretty sure that's their uh, reason for doing the crimes. That's their MO. It's Latin. Modus operandi. Don't know why we use so many things. Like, so many Latin words for, for stuff, but, you know, it's, it's just something we do. But what we don't do is get scored on two kickoff goals in a row, so I gotta win this. Alright, nice. Nice, okay, that's gonna be the game, GG. Alright, well, good, good games. I mean, game two, a little unfortunate, but we kinda threw it, so, you know, no big deal. We're at 1379, which is, I'd say, pretty good for somebody who started the season at, like, 1180. So, hey, you know, I'll take it. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.